There are so many blue light blocking glasses out on the market, it can make it difficult to pick out the best ones. Some lenses might be clear, yellow, orange, red. Some glasses might be $5, $100, $150. Some companies might claim that their glasses have all these amazing benefits, but no proof to back it up. So how do you pick the best anti-blue light glasses for you? Let's focus in. Hey, howdy everybody, this is Dr. Neil Guy, I'm a Dr. Eye Guy, and I do videos all about the eyes as well as eye product reviews like this one. And let's just jump right into how to pick the best blue light blocking glasses. Now most people searching for blue light blocking glasses usually fall in one of three categories. Either they're trying to protect their eyes from potentially harmful blue light, or they're trying to help with their digital eye strain or eye fatigue from using the computer all day, or they might want to help with their sleep cycle or their circadian rhythm. Now from those three categories, you wanna know what wavelengths those blue light blocking glasses are actually blocking. As you can see on this diagram, 400 to 500 nanometers is what we register as blue light. The blue light that's from 400 to 450 nanometers is considered the high energy visible light. It's right next to UV light and that's the area that's studied to see if it's actually harmful or damaging to the eyes. And some studies suggest that that blue light could be potentially harmful, but there are definitely more studies needed to actually make this determination. If you're hearing claims from companies saying that you need these blue light blocking glasses in order to protect your eyes so you don't get macular degeneration, potentially, potentially that could be a problem, but we can't make that definitive decision yet. We can't actually make that claim. And so a lot of times when you hear companies saying that, they might just be trying to really sell you these blue light blocking glasses. So just kind of take that with a grain of salt. Now, if you're looking for anti-blue light glasses that will help with digital eye strain or fatigue from the computer screens, then you want glasses that will block 455 nanometers, pretty much right smack dab in the middle. That's the peak intensity of blue light that's coming from the screens and your phones. The blue light from 450 to 500 nanometers actually affects your sleep cycle. Well, all of it does, but those are the peak intensities that actually can affect your circadian rhythm. And so if you're looking for glasses to help with your sleep cycle, you want glasses that will block that area of the blue light the best. Now, with that being said, let's go over how you can best pick blue light blocking glasses depending on what area that you need help with. Now right off the bat, if you already wear prescription eyeglasses, it's definitely best to actually get your blue light coating or blue light lenses from your eye care provider. Usually that technology is superior, very high quality, and can actually make the lenses somewhat more clear than other generic blue light blocking glasses, and that's usually the best way to go. If you're somebody that's working on the computer screen all day long, and you're looking for glasses that might help you with your eye fatigue or your digital eye strain, then here are a few tips that'll help you find the best blue light blocking glasses. Number one, you wanna find out what wavelengths the glasses actually block. And this can be something difficult to find out, especially if you're looking at glasses on Amazon. Sometimes they don't even provide that information or it's very, very generic. Again, you wanna try and block that peak intensity at 455 nanometers. And that can be difficult for certain blue light blocking glasses to do. If they mention something about a spectral analysis, that's actually a really good thing. That means that they put money into actually proving that their blue light blocking glasses do block certain areas of blue light. Number two would actually be the tint or the color of the lenses. Usually when you get into the yellow or orange or red tints, they progressively block more and more blue light. But the problem is if you're working on the computer all day long, especially if you're doing color grading or editing, that red glasses or orange glasses can change the color of everything and make everything look weird. So there are certain blue light blocking glasses that can still be somewhat clear. They might have a little yellow tint to them, but they can be somewhat clear and still block that high intensity or high visible light, as well as that peak intensity of 455 nanometers. So make sure that you're looking for that. If they can keep their lenses clear and still block that, that's actually a good quality lens or good quality glass. The tricky thing here is that you'll find a lot of companies and a lot of glasses sold on Amazon will claim that they, they 
block 85% of all blue light, but they have no proof to back that up at all. In fact, sometimes you'll scroll through the comments and there'll be people that have actually done a spectral analysis on those glasses and find that it only blocks maybe 10% of blue light or 15% of blue light. So if you're shopping on Amazon, definitely look through the questions in the comments because some people have actually helped out quite a bit and done a spectral analysis on those glasses because there are claims out there and no proof to back it up whatsoever. Usually it's best to actually stick with reputable companies that have been out there for a while, and some companies actually have patents on the lenses to keep their lenses somewhat clear, but still block quite a bit of that blue light, especially in that 455 nanometers coming from your screens. Some companies that I like out there are Gunner. These are Felix Gray glasses, pretty clear lenses, but still block quite a bit of blue light. Also, Blue Blocks glasses have been around for a while. And so make sure that you stick with a reputable company that actually has the proof to show that they are blocking the wavelengths of blue light. Now a side note here, research does show that some people do benefit from blue light blocking glasses with their digital eye strain, but some people don't benefit at all. In fact, more recent research has shown that people don't really have a benefit. It doesn't help with their digital eye strain. And that's how we see it in clinic as well. You'll get half the people that get blue light blocking lenses will rave about it, say that it's life changing, it's great, it's helped with their headaches and eye strain, and then you'll get some people to get the blue light blocking glasses and say that it didn't help them at all. So it, I think it depends on the person, if they're more sensitive to that blue light coming from the screens, but you may be someone that it doesn't help at all. Now what's actually been proven is that blue light does affect your sleep cycle or your circadian rhythm. And if you're somebody that will be working on computer screens, especially towards the evening, later in the day, before bedtime, or you're gonna be gaming, then you will be wanting to look for lenses that block 450 to 500 nanometers, that higher wavelength of blue light. And that's where these glasses with a slight tint to them come in handy. If you're gonna be on the computer or any screens at least two hours before bedtime, this will help. This can help with your circadian rhythm. This will help you actually have a more restful sleep at night. And once you actually start researching the different tints of lenses, you'll start seeing that they come in different sections or categories of lenses that might help with your sleep. They usually start out about blocking about 35% of all blue light, and then they'll step up. 65% is a little bit darker yellow. That's what these glasses are. And then it'll go up to a kind of an orange color and that's about 85%. And then you'll get into these darker orange, amber, red colors. Again, almost 99.9% .9 of all blue light. Now here are a few tips of finding good quality lenses and frames, whether you're looking for yellow tints or even clear lenses. If you see that they're talking about anti-reflective coating on their lenses, that's a really good thing because that will cut down on the glare coming from the computer screens. If they talk about anti-reflective coating on the back surface as well, so front surface and back surface of the glasses, that's even a bonus and that's actually what I prefer. By having the anti-reflective coating on the back surface, you won't see the reflection of your own eyeballs staring back at you. Now that I've said that, you might notice that in your glasses. If you don't have an anti-reflective coating in your glasses, you might look at the screen and look at your glasses and notice that you can see your own eyeballs reflecting back at you. Sorry about that, but yeah, it's gonna drive you crazy now. <laughs> Now, if you're kind of nervous about trying tinted lenses on the computer, wondering if you're really going to actually like having a slight tint to it, then I would probably recommend or start with a 65% blue light blocking glasses. It'll have this kind of yellow tint to it. And then you'll know if you need to go down maybe to the 35% area, or if you might be okay to go up to maybe the 85% area. Uh, either way, the 85% or the 65%, I actually liked both of them. I liked working on the computer screens. My eyes felt great and made me feel all nice and warm inside because it had warm colors to it. And so it really doesn't bother me. In fact, I actually prefer it. But I would start with the 65% if you're kind of nervous about it. It will have a slight yellow tint to it, but I actually really like it. If you know for sure that you're getting these glasses to help you with your sleep, you're having trouble sleeping right after you work on the computer late at night, then you wanna go as high as possible, maybe into that 85% range. Or if you are brave, you can go into the very, very dark, dark red or dark amber lenses that can block 99.9% .9 
but uh, the colors will be weird. They're a little bit much for me. 85% is probably as much as I'll go. Another side note is if you have prescription glasses, but you're interested in the yellow or orange tints to block more of that blue light to help with your sleep patterns, but you don't want to buy permanent prescription glasses that have that tint to them, then they do sell these clip-ons on Amazon that easily clip on your glasses and wear right over the glasses. And you can get them in different tints depending on what percentage of blue light you want to block. And they actually work quite well too. A lot of them will have that anti-reflective coating on there. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely something to look into if you just want to wear it right over your prescription glasses. So here's a quick summary if you really are looking for the best blue light blocking glasses for you. For the lenses, you want to see if they have anti-reflective coating on the front and back surface if possible. If you're somebody that's working on the screens all day long and you're looking for glasses that might help you with your digital eye strain or your eye fatigue, then you can stick with the clearer lenses as long as they are blocking that peak intensity wavelength that's coming from the screens. It's 455 nanometers. So pay attention and research on that. If you're somebody that's working on screens toward bedtime or you're looking at your phone getting closer to bedtime and you want something that might help with your sleep cycle, then you want glasses that have a slight tint to it that can block that higher wavelengths of blue light. So make sure that you're looking for different wavelengths or different colors of lenses that might help you with your sleep cycle. Now, again, like I said, most glasses that I have found that are $30 and under aren't really doing the job. Either they're very uncomfortable, the lenses are not very qual good quality. I would stick with $30 and over, and I think that will actually be the best bang for your buck. So again, check the description below. I put links to all the glasses that were in this video and all the glasses that I recommend. And I'll also put a quick summary of this video so you can use it as a quick reference of how to actually find good quality blue light blocking glasses that actually work. Hey, and thanks for watching the video. Make sure that you check out my other videos on blue light or if you're interested in any of my other videos right here. I'm Dr. Neil Gaiman, Dr. Eye Guy, focusing on you and your eyes. Stay focused and I'll see you in the next video.